We'll move on to the Rice Owls. And I'll write my time down here. Rice, last year. Whew. Mike Bloomgren, what are you doing? What are you doing? This was, uh, this was rough. Four and eight last year. Uh, post-game win expectancy said they should have been five and seven, but they were three and nine against the spread. And when you look at some of these numbers, I mean, at defense I kind of thought was supposed to be their thing. Defense and running the football, and they couldn't do either. Uh, we'll, we'll skip over the big losses here because there are quite a few of them. They are number 74 in returning production, but that's number 102 on offense and number 37 on defense. So you're bringing back a bunch of players on defense. Maybe they're going to get better, but we'll see. We'll start off with the offense. Uh, Tui Asasopo is the offensive coordinator. He spent 12 years in the Pac-12. Uh, he joined Rice in 2021, and it didn't go well. Uh, the offense hasn't really been good at any point under Bloomgren, and a lot of the potential playmakers that they've got all transferred out, and that's three wide receivers, a running back, tight end, and two offensive linemen. Uh, at quarterback, is Wiley Green as good as Jake Constantine? I don't know that. We'll see. Um, if he's the same, this team is in a lot of trouble. I know that. I don't know the pass success rate can maintain number 32 in the country. Uh, they were very successful throwing the football last year. Uh, the issue is, you know, they, they didn't do a whole lot with it. They, they didn't score a ton of points. Uh, as far as the defense, Brian Smith has been the D.C. there since 2018, and last year is the first year that it really just dropped off because they had kind of, they had kind of been climbing, uh, and then they, they completely fell apart last year. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got a note here. Defense has been a strong suit, finishing 54th in SP Plus in 2020. They crashed to number 123 last year. If you look at the PPA per drive, they were number 110. So SP Plus is Bill Conley's deal. We've talked about it on the show before, but that's uh, basically defensive efficiency, right? Uh, the cornerback and defensive tackle spots have studs, but where are the playmakers at defensive end and linebacker? I, I don't see where those guys are. And Gabe Taylor should be good at safety. Uh, outside of that, like the secondary, even with experience, looks weak. Like this is not a very good roster. Uh, roster strength here, by the way, number 119, courtesy of our guys over at CFB Winning Edge. At the top players this year, I mean, I brought up Gabe Taylor, but, you know, we, you've got the center or right guard, the offensive lineman, Shea Baker. you got wide receiver Sam Crawford coming in. And he could certainly be good. I just, I don't feel good about this team. Uh, no real staff changes. You only got seven incoming transfers, and I don't know that any of them are dynamite other than maybe Crawford. Um, you got 12 outgoing transfers that look like they had been built up and developed, and then they just decided to leave. Simple fundamentals here were bad. Number 85 in turnover margin, number 110 in penalties per game. Uh, those need to be cleaned up. Uh, this could be really tough, especially with underclassmen. On offense, like, the offense has always leaned on running the ball. Like, I brought up how good they were passing the ball, and yet they only threw it 42% of the time in 2021. Uh, the wrestling success rate, again, number 116. That, how, how do you ever get that bad if you are going to run the football 58% of the time? I, I, this, this kind of stuff doesn't make sense. Uh, as far as defense, was last year an aberration? Or was this the start of a decline that maybe could find Bloomgren looking for a new job? You know, moving into the AAC next year, do you want to continue on with a sixth year of Bloomgren if they do not do well this year? And I don't know the answer to that. 70% uh, or 60% returning production is, is okay. 70% on defense is pretty good. I don't like this schedule. I don't like this team. Um, I've got them winning one game. I might, could, I might could see them winning another one somewhere. You know, maybe you get UTEP at home, maybe. Uh, but you don't get FIU this year. You don't get any of the easy ones in and you play, you know, teams that you might be able to fare okay against, you play them on the road this year. This is not good. I've got them 1-11, um, but we'll see. We'll see what to make out of that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if